is the greatest thing that can be conceived. Moreover, since everything other than God is a mode of God, and since modes can never, never be nor are conceived without the substance of which they are modes, nothing else can be or conceived apart from God. Well, you've got okay. the three types so of God, knowledge, which are opinion, reason, and, and intuition. And the greatest virtue is to know God. The knowledge of God is the fulfillment of the mind. Nature, and universe. To preserve in being. He's saying nature, universe, though, is God. God, nature, and universe are the same. But what I was saying was underneath it, there's an object, objective. And the objective would be the types of knowledge, you could say, which are opinion, reason, and intuition. So you've got your opinion, which is, no, that's not thought, or, hey, you know, that won't work, or maybe this is the right way. And then you've got reason, which is, okay, let's step back and say, you know, uh, this is going to work out for us. And then you've got intuition, which is just what actors are. You know, it's like they only go by what, they know and they don't know why they know it and that's what intuition is is you know something and you don't know why you know it if you have an opinion then you probably have some form of of reason if you have a reason then you probably have some form of intuition they're all three the same i could you could say opinion reason and intuition are god you could say that opinion reason and intuition are god you know but those three thoughts have nothing to do with breath philosophy I think breath philosophy boils down to behavior, but from its oh, beginning, period. breath is a creator of the physical and imagination. Look up empirical. Well, I'm already looking up Spinoza. Look up empirical. 